can't see Masterpiece right here on 105.3 The Fan. Right now, it's time for some Masterpiece of the Week. She said, list, list this. Yo. Hey, yes. Lady. What is it? Masterpiece of the Week is a segment that we do every week in which we revisit some of the funny, stupid, odd things that have been said on this program. Uh, anybody want to go for it first? I'll take it. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Corey, what were you talking about in this moment here? She's trying to flirt and get a little extra tip. Mm. Your wife? I'm sure. Oh, it was the waitress. The waitress that, uh, that she, she called the man's sweetheart and the woman was paying for the bill. And at the end of it, she did not leave a tip because she said the tip said, don't call my husband sweetheart. And so she was just being nice. She was trying to flirt a little bit and trying to get a little extra cash. You know, they give you the options of like 15, 20, 30, 25%. And she was just trying to say sweetheart and maybe get 30%. I'll tell you what, there's so many places now. Like if you're at Buffalo Wild Wings, yes, you tip your waiter or waitress. Of course. But there's so many places that you order food to go pick up and you're picking it up and then they throw that thing uh, and they're like, which tip do you want to give? I'm like... I don't know. Do you I'm, ever go custom? I'm literally yes. picking up my own food and putting it in my own car and driving it to my own house. I think <laughs> I'm paying enough. I've paid you money for the food you cooked for me. So that's a no tip then. Yeah, but maybe I'm maybe I'm not a nice guy for doing that. I feel like I will tip if the if Uber dude drives it to me or whatever. Yeah. You're saying you go to the restaurant. I go. You go pick it up. Yes, I called in the order. They took the phone call. Good job by them. They put in the order. That was awesome. And then they cooked the food. I now drive to go pick it up. They hand it to me and they're like, I think that deserves a 10 to 20% tip. I do not. They only brought it right. to me to then drive back home. But I get it. It's a very smart thing to do because I think a lot of people... And at times I've fallen in this category just going, ah, I'll just hit the 10 percenter. Oh, Kevin, you like to go to the pizza place and pick up the pizza. Is yes. it because you like to drive and see the scenic route there, or is there another reason? No, it's just a lot cheaper. Because, like, now most pizza places automatically put in the $5 charge to bring it, and then they make sure to tell you, hey, we're still cheap as hell. We ain't giving none of that to the delivery that driver. True, yeah. So now, depending on what you're getting, you're talking five, eight dollar tip, depending on what you get. And so you're like, or I could just go drive it and it's 15 bucks cheaper, maybe. That's not so bad. I do the same thing. Okay, see? I just, feel like, I just feel like the name Uber Dude sounds like a hilarious uh, knockoff <laughs> yeah. superhero. Uber, Uber Dude. Dude. He's going to drive you around today. Maybe Mike was like seeing into the future about like, you know, his, his opinion on tipping when he said this. I'm a selfish person and I want this person to please me at all times. Whoa. Oh my mm -hmm. God. I was talking about a Jonas brother got divorced from another famous person. That's incredible that he remembers this so perfectly. Wow, that is pretty impressive. And Sophie Turner. They had a great marriage and a great relationship. They just decided to get divorced. No. For no reason. Yeah. After four years. They're they like, this four years was the best. Do you want to get a divorce? Yeah. All right. They did not have a great marriage. They were not getting along. And so they got divorced. And a lot of times people regret getting divorced. Sometimes and then they get they back don't. together and get remarried and then get divorced again. Mm -hmm. oh. And then remarry each other one more time. What's What's I've seen the, that happen. What's the amount of time you need to be apart if you're going to get remarried? It's like if you had two friends, they got divorced, and then a year later, they're like, we're getting remarried. Are you going to be like, hey. Probably a couple months is what I would think. couple months? Yeah. I mean, that's when you realize, we. hey, I, I really liked life The other thing, you. too, is they're wasting a lot of money, right? You paid lawyers <laughs> yeah. and uh -huh. all this stuff to get divorced. Just think about it a little bit longer if that's the case. <laughs> just stay separated. Yeah. Just be like, you know what? Because then you are getting remarried. You just do that at a courthouse, right? You don't invite friends. Hey, guess what? We're getting. I went to your first one. Oh, if it's the same people, same people, I absolutely want to go back to their second wedding. You're not supposed to like register at the second wedding, right? No, I want to bring a sign that says you got it. This have time. you have you ever thought of getting <laughs> remarried to Adrian? But not like just to separated, but just like doing it all About over. Dude, 
think about yeah, this yeah. for a second. When that's we got, how you know your marriage is in trouble, Kevin. When we, when Adrian and I got first got married, a we didn't have kids, all right. So True. and b we we didn't know what we really needed. So now we're at a sure. point where we're like, man, we really could use this. And so that would be a great opportunity to upgrade some of the Somebody living. ate regular food the other day off of the china plates that we got. Like, we got <laughs> 7,000 pieces of china, which just a it's just, just a put a peanut fancy. butter and jelly sandwich yeah. on there. Like, I was like, this is amazing. Whoever did this, we need to do this. You know what Lucy uses that for now? She uses it to host her uh, her tea parties when she has her friends over. Yeah. She literally will get our, our nice china out to host tea parties. That has to be one of the biggest waste of money <laughs> in the history of mankind. Yeah. Like, I understand getting glass plates and bowls and everything. They're more sanitary than plastic. I totally get that. But paying a lot of money because it has, like, a silver or gold <laughs> line on it? Who cares? See, okay. I'm eating the, meatloaf off of it. From the 214, I'm definitely <laughs> considering remarrying the same person I divorced. I just want to know how far apart that is. Because if it's, like, within a year. You think that's too, too close? I was like, I don't know, dude. Like, if you're like, it's you been 10 years, we're different people. Okay, <laughs> but I, I can listen to that for right. sure. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> this is the part that you talk. <laughs> I wasn't sure. For a second there, it was a long time where it wasn't where I was talking. Um, Kevin said this. Yep. And the, the thing was, for a long time... <laughs> That's what I think. That's how that song sounds in my head. It was like, blah, 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 blah. What's blah. weird is, I'm blue. Da, ba, I dee, da, that. da. I'm song. not embarrassed by that at mm -hmm. all. Why not? That's a song you don't like. What'd you say? That's a song you don't like? I do not. Okay. <laughs> That'd be weird if I was like, that song's my jam. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. What I'm always like concerned about with that song is how many people were arguing about the lyrics. I'm like, the lyrics are pretty clear. And they're like, no, it sounds like there's something else. I'm blue. I'm in need of a god. And I'm like, come on. What are we doing oh here? Oh, my gosh. He's just blue. Corey and Kevin collaborated on this one. What are you supposed to do with no shoes? I know. And he did it with his sandals on and they melted to his feet. Oh, my God. <laughs> I told my buddy to run through a, a fire, like a bonfire. And he had sandals on and they melted to his feet. He's okay now. Because they're made of rubber. Yeah, they were made of rubber. And so they stuck to his feet. He had blisters that, on his toes. That has to be worse than doing it barefoot or no? Because the rubber's not coming off of your feet. Well, see, his big problem was he got to the middle of the bonfire and then stopped and looked around. And I was like, what are you doing? You just keep going. Was he drunk? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yep. Next. Mike made a declaration. Don't have the gall. You've had plenty of time to do this. I am famous. <laughs> I don't remember what that is about. It's Did not you about say me. that so often. Mm. I try to. Oh, it was yes. definitely about you. Oh, it's about oh, me. Oh, I'm oh. famous. Oh, do you what guys could you do with your fame, Mike? Maybe you know, sell products. Oh yeah, what can I sell? You you want to sell everything. You're basically telling every person out there, you're famous, you should endorse their product. Well, when I do endorse products, they sell more. <laughs> it's confusing why people don't use me more when <laughs> I am 100 for 100 in selling yeah, products. The Pillow Cube, you just talked about yeah, it. Yeah. The Pillow Cube it. has so they don't e they don't even have any more cubes. Yeah. They're having to go back to circles cuz all the cubes are gone cuz of my recommendation of the Pillow Cube. Yeah, man. It just... seems like that defeats the purpose of the product, man. <laughs> like we're we're down to circles. The, okay. The Pillow people are like actually we have to sell you two pillows yeah. now. Sorry about that. No more cubes. I wish they made more Pillow Cube um what do you call them? Covers. Covers, yeah. Whatever they call them. Cases. Pillow cases. Pillow cases, yes. Yeah. So we're going to have to work on some of the verbiage <laughs> if you're going to be hawking pillow Well, cubes. to be That's... fair, Mike says words wrong sometimes. You know, it just happens. What? Please don't blow them in the ninth inning. There's not enough time to make up for that. The game. Do not <laughs> blow the game in the ninth inning. We only have maybe three more outs to go, or Jeez. they've walked us off. <laughs> The ninth inning's a really stressful time. <laughs> or relaxing, I guess. You know what? <laughs> That's great. What, who you're for the 972, you all will be banned from Friday public shows. I hope that's not the case. There's been a lot of people at Buffalo Wild Wings, so hopefully like, it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about that. Mike's famous, so I think we'll be fine. I think as long as we have famous Mike, everything will be I okay. I am famous. <laughs> that's I my vote right there. Do we have another one? Oh, no, go ahead and vote. 
I'm, I'm going to vote, vote for. Sorry, go ahead, Corey. Famous Mike. I am vote. famous. <laughs> I'm going to vote for Mike saying everyone else is there to please him. <laughs> I'm a selfish person, and I want this person to please me at all times. Oh, jeez, Mike. I like it. You know what? I'm going to vote for myself, <laughs> but I'm going to vote for what happens in the ninth inning in baseball games. Please don't blow them in the ninth inning. There's not enough time to make up for that. <laughs> and that's Masterpiece of the Week. How much time does that take? Oh, my gosh.